welcome to the first video of the four horsemen. So the first diecast that uh, we're going to be working on is the Hot Wheels 83 Silverado. At the end of the video, I'll put links to everybody's channel so you can go visit and see their creation. Hopefully by the end of this video, there'll be something in this glass. For obvious reason, I cannot have it now because then I'll just put everything away and won't do nothing. All right, we got the 83 Silverado. Everybody's doing the same casting. Check it out. Ribbits, ribbits, ribbits. Original rivets. So I went ahead and opened this with the uh, soldering iron method. Just because uh, when you do pickups, it's a lot easier. Even though the 83 Silverado still has a very long post where you could get a screw in there, uh, I feel like it's a better way of doing it. Black interiors, yellow uh, tinted windows here. And uh, if I didn't mention it, the theme for this month's build off is alcohol. Hence the glass. And getting prepared for this video, I found this company, Frenchman River Model Works. And I got here some barrels. As you can see, they are scale 187. I can't see nothing. There you go. 187. I'll leave a link to uh to this specifically to this one, the one I bought. I haven't opened them, so I don't know. I think they are 3D printed. I don't remember. Looking at their website, they seems like they sell a lot of stuff for um, for like boats, little boat, miniature boats and stuff like that. I bought the 187 scale because oh look perfect. You got it this side, which is going to be the bottom. Because I'm thinking about drilling a small hole here. Holding it with a, a toothpick and dipping it in some uh, black wash. Get it dark. So I bought the 187 scale because I want the barrels to fit inside the cab. And would you look at that? They fit perfect. So I could fit one here in the corner. There may be three in the back. So it'll be the silver out will be uh let me lower the camera here. It'll be like the silver out is hauling the goods, the spirits. I don't tell you, I don't even remember when I what I paid for this. But I'll leave you the link. They got some pretty cool stuff there. I don't wanna thought about covering this area up, but then I'm gonna lose the the stands. So I'm not really sure about that. I mean, I could go a little bit higher with the with the wheels. And make it look like a, like a stock height. But I like I like how it sits nice and low. Let me show you the wheels I got for it. 
shake it out. So I'm in mono blocks. That's why I want to keep it low. This is their new design. I'll leave a link down below also. I think they're good, 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 good size. All right, so might as well do the, the wheel fitment first. For a while, you know that I like to uh, I like to spread the clips, especially when I'm using the monoblocks wheel. I reuse the original axles, so I don't want to bend them. And made a video about this other method I sometimes use of making axles on Facebook haven't done it here so might as well use this video to show you guys so I'm just gonna cut one end I could uh, use this Right, facing out this one, facing in. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the as you can see, it appears that it's not going to fit, but let's see if that's true. See these, uh, these rims are deep dish almost. As you can see, I still got quite a bit hanging out here. So I could, uh, I could cut a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you why. This is the easiest way to make axles. Let me move the camera back. And it's using the alien monster here. I'll leave a link in the video description. I'll leave an affiliate link for that one if you want to help out the channel. This is called a fencing plier, I believe. So the axle is made for hardened steel, I believe. And you need something as strong to be able to bend it or cut it like this. This is why this is able to cut it. Now this is what I do. Use the very tip here. You see that? Now I did have quite a bit that I could have cut. So I'm gonna take advantage and check it out. Now I'm just gonna press. Look, see that? Wheel doesn't fall off. And it rolls perfect. Now, for cosmetic purposes, I can come back and nip the tip. So you can see the wheel's still not gonna fall off. Look, I'm gonna have some play here so. I can go back and 
go a little deeper. I want that to be kind of tight. I don't want the uh, wheels moving around too much. Let's see here. So you definitely don't want to do too much because you could always cut. Here, still, I still could go a little bit deeper. See that? And in, in, the, in the beginning, it looked like uh, I didn't even have a long enough axle. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Let's cut. Let's cut a little tip here. Make sure you cut facing away from you. That's why I leave the tabs. I'm not going to close them because I need to remove the wheels again. I'm planning on um, uh, painting the base, the chassis, however you call it. The chassis. And let me see this one. Sometimes. Hollows are a little bit wider in the back. Yeah, it looks like I'll have. I need to make about a same size axle here. Let me go right there and check. Well, I'm 12 minutes in, and I haven't even removed the paint yet. That's crazy. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. down close my eyes <laughs> bada bing bada boom let's see if I can get this to a clip to make sure that uh, the axle is completely seated back in the groove so you can see the perfect stance and there it is boys there it is perfect roller let me let me <laughs> take this apart. You can see that this is not easy to take apart. That's why I'm put the glass. You see, it clips back, back, back on. There you go. And let me put the seats. Make sure I have clearance back here. Let's see if I need to cut something. No. It's perfect. Like that. Now, can you tell which side has the cramp? 
I don't want to call it crimp because I, I do have another video where I use crimp tubes. I guess these are crimp axles instead of crimp tubes. But you gotta admit, uh, those wheels look perfect. Oh, yes, indeed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead, remove the paint, and I'm gonna polish everything and get it ready for paint. And I'll be back. Check it out. So it's next day right now. Yesterday, last night, I think I spent over four hours between sink plating and sanding most of the imperfections. So I decided to call it quits. This casting was not pretty. You can see here on the on the hood that it's still got some metal imperfections, but you can only go up so far and you're only willing to spend so much time on a car. I think I've uh, reached <clears throat> my level here when it comes to uh, sanding and polishing, I mean. So now uh, we're gonna paint and uh, what color uh, you will see okay check it out it's been I don't know about 12 hours since I painted I used Spectre Flame Windex Blue for the chassis I was gonna do gold but I ran out so I use duplicate color here. This, I don't even think, I don't know if this one has a color. I guess it's their yellow. Use rust -Oleum here on the interiors. So this charcoal gray. And if you're wondering, did this it's just tack this fun tack so no need to glue this will hold the the flathead screw in there while you paint Once you get it dirty, you got to throw it away. So this was painted and clear coated. You can see. And let me get the water slides. Bought these from Second Chance Red Lines. I will leave an affiliate link down below if you want to check out his uh, eBay store as you can see if you can hear here I'm a little bit tired these are metallic gold check it out gotta install that and on top of that I'm gonna try to install these see how they look the, the blue is not gonna go on it's just to let me know where to cut because if you if I would have just made this little space and put it over this you would have seen the the line so the goal is to cover the whole thing that way you can't see the line that's the best way to hide lines when you do water slides I did two sets just in case you can see what it says and the logos that are going to go on the two stripes that are going to go on the hood. So I'm going to install that and uh, I'm going to show you the final resort. result. I can't speak. 
what do we have here? Check it out. All right, let me get this out of the way. So I messed up the water slide <clears throat> that I bought. Got messed up. Uh, didn't have time to uh, reorder. So I have this uh, gold chrome. They call it vinyl, but it's not really vinyl. It's more like uh, like a very thin foil see cut out the design out of this it's not recommended because it's very hard to bend but I think I got it look at the barrels blue label in the back on the sides and I got the jack the Johnny Walker logo there and the fancier Johnny Walker and Sons, I think. That's for the S. Writing on some monoblocks. Check it out. I think the yellow glass worked perfectly on this one. So the water slide on this side came out perfect. On this side, this one, it got messed up. But as you can see, it's not the same thing here in the back. But I believe it came out pretty damn good. Especially the barrels. Look at that. And, like I said at the beginning, <laughs> that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to... Mmm. Tastes good. I'm gonna sip on this. I might sell this. I don't know. Let me know on Instagram if you'll be interested. Peace out. <laughs>